Wizard of West LA here. There is one important thing about the Raspberry Pi Pico, and that is protecting the Pico. Because the problem is, many times you will have to hit that reset button and disconnect this USB over and over again to reset it. So there is one solution, putting the switch in these two pins that will save you a lot of time and also give some life to your Pico rather than disconnecting the power over and over again, which is not good for the Pico. So let me show you where the switch would go. So this is a really nice top side view of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Normally these labels are in back, which is kind of an inconvenience, but this is what they look like on the front. So you can actually see. So the pins you want to use for the switch, very simple, are pin 30 and 28. So it's pin 30 right here. And then you want another line on pin 28. The best thing to do is to run wires into here and solder them because you don't want to lose, unless, unless you care, it depends on your project, you don't want to lose the other pin uh, right here, which is GP22. You don't want to lose that one. So that's that's up to you. But that is where you want your switch. So when you hook those up, you'll have your, your uh, switch directly to here. And that's all you need. You don't need a resistor or anything. You just need a switch there. So here is an example of the switch on a breadboard. I have it right here. Instead of disconnecting this, what you do is you just hold that button down, push this, release the button. And now it will show up on the desktop. So I hope that helps to protect your Raspberry Pi Pico from being disconnected all the time, which I'm sure is not good on the chip. Definitely not a good thing to do. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And also feel free to subscribe to the channel as we will be putting up a lot of videos on the Raspberry Pi Pico and various other things. But right now, we're going to do a lot of projects with this. This is going to be a lot of fun. So remember, keep on learning.